we're driving to Guthaga today. Um, this June long weekend, they've actually opened up Guthaga, uh, which I don't think's happened for a little while. And uh, there's a little bit of terrain that's accessible through the chair in one of the T-bars. So we're hoping to avoid the crowds of Perisher and drive down here and, and have a, make a day of it. So hopefully we'll get some good footage and we'll be able to see that soon. So if anyone curious about starting the day off at Guthaga, the road's about 19, 20 kilometers from uh, the main road that you'd be used to driving to Perishaw. And it's a little bit more scenic, that's for sure. I'd suggest that it's a little bit more of a challenge for people who are new to full driving or uh, people on chains. It's a little bit of a narrow road and there's definitely likely to be more ice. But yeah, the, uh, after about 10 k's down the road, it's uh, we had a fit chains now sign, so the road's gotten a little bit more agricultural, let's say. Uh, <laughs> so for those who are faint of heart, maybe maybe uh, this trip is something you want to have a think about before you come. If you're in a two-wheel drive car, you definitely will want chains. Um, if you're in a four-wheel drive, just don't drive silly. <laughs> um, everyone along here is pretty good, actually. Everyone's taking the time. And uh, yeah, hopefully we're almost there. And the amount of snow on this side is it's absolutely incredible. We feel quite low altitude-wise. Um, we've been going downhill quite a bit, and now we're starting to climb back up towards Guthaga. Yeah, if you are interested in something a bit different, Guthaga is a really great place to um, ski from uh, in terms of the Perisher Resort. Guthaga's typically got a lot of nice natural snow throughout the season uh, compared to some other parts of Perisher, uh, and it's a little bit of a hidden gem. Um, so yeah, we'll see what it's like this early in the season. It should be pretty good given how much snow we've had. So we got real lucky, parked right at the front door. But, uh, it's busy as. So. Oh. Ah, this was the right call. Look we'll how short that line is. <laughs> Wait, next one.
Fantastic. I think it turned out to be fantastic today. Compared to the lines of Perisher and everything, the extra effort for people to drive here really makes a massive difference. Uh, we didn't wait for a line once. And in terms of the snow quality, there's probably a little bit more ice than we found at Perisher, but um, there's also some amazing off-piste skiing to be had. Um, it's probably also worth mentioning that I think the cafe here is one of the best on the mountain. It really was extremely well organised. Although, self admittedly, that part of that would be because there's less people down here to manage. But in terms of the, uh, the selection of food and everything, it's a little bit different from the regular fare of burgers, hot dogs and chips that you get at some of the other venues uh, in the Perisher Resort. So, all in all, uh, fantastic. And it's worth a trip. If you're willing to take your time and you've got a four-wheel drive, uh, maybe give Guthiga a, uh, a bit of thought. Later in the season, definitely ski across the mountain to Guthiga and we'll probably post a video uh, on how to do that um, for the newer skiers. Um, Guthing is a great little part of the resort and it's kind of tucked away and I think uh, is often more quieter than the rest of the place. So anyway, hopefully that was great. Looking forward to uh, seeing you in the next video.